Hi everyone, my name is Poonam Gupta. In this video, I am going to explain what is a class diagram and how to create one and publish it on Confluence page. Dr. Masood Sajadi is the product owner of this project and he is also the mentor. You must have heard a saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. UML fits this perfectly. One of the most important goals for developing UML was to define a general purpose modeling language. It is a language meant for developers and non-developers alike. It has a number of different types of diagrams to model. Structure, behavior and overall architecture of a system. So what is a class diagram? Class diagram is a type of UML structural model that helps in analysis and design of the static view of an application. Generally this is applicable for object oriented languages and shows the collection of classes, interfaces, associations collaboration and constants as its components. Class diagram is made up of states and behavior. State also known as attributes, fields and variables. Behavior means what an object can do or what can be done to an object. Behavior is also known as functions or methods. Visibility symbol where an attribute variable can be accessed from. Private if each attribute is private, it cannot be accessed by any other class. Public. If attributes are public, it is accessed by all class. Protected. If attributes are protected, it means can be accessed by the same class or subclass. Packages and default. If the attributes are default, it can be accessed by any other class as long as it is in the same package. In our case, as we have observed, MQL4 code is typically not object oriented. However, creating a model helps us understand the structure of a program. So the class diagram would include only the variables and functions. Now let's take a look at a sample expert advisor and attempt to create a class diagram using draw.io. Here is a variable total of type integer. Create a new diagram. Let's create a UML shape to create a class. Now let's add our variable total here. It is of type integer. Now let's take a look, look at the function on it function. Let's create a method for it here. Now notice that there are no arguments or parameters in this function so we leave this blank and return type of this function is integer. In this way we add the variables and functions in the class diagram. Now let's see how to upload on this on the confluence page. First let's name this diagram. Save it so we have a copy of this. Then we export this diagram as an image. We will need this in just a little bit. Now publish a link for this. If you notice this is really a long link. As I understand this link contains the entire diagram in an encoded format. Now. Let's go to Confluence and create a test page. Over here, add JP JPEG image file. Make sure you have set the size as original, otherwise the text might be so small. Now let's add the published link we copied. So we are all done. Let's preview this. We can see the full size class diagram when we click and edit it. It takes us to draw.io 
where we can make changes and repeat the process above to improve our diagram. I hope this was useful for you. If you have any question, please feel free to reach out to us. Here is our contact details. Thank you.